The winners of this year's Nobel Peace Prize have just collected their awards. The ceremony wrapped up a short time ago in Oslo. The winners are recognized for their efforts to end sexual violence and rape as a weapon of war. The two winners are Dr. Dennis Mukwege, who works in the Congo, and Nadia Murad, a Yazidi human rights activist who helps Yazidi women who have been enslaved by ISIS. She herself, in fact, was once captive of the Islamic State. With me now is Hazidi Peer. He is the founder of the Yazda organization. Hazidi, thank you so much for being with us. I want to ask, what do you think her Nobel victory means for the Yazidi people? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I woke up this early this morning to, to watch it, and it was very emotional to me and, and everybody else watching it. It's, to be honest, for Yazidis, it means a lot. We've been through many genocides, but this is the first time that our genocide and suffering being recognized by the international community. And this is the first time we feel that the world is actually siding with us, not silent or not with the perpetrator. So this is this is huge for all the Yazidis, and this is means a lot. But I, I will quote Nadia. She said this this prizes mean a lot to me, but it's not important than bringing justice to, to those victims. So we are hoping that with this Nobel Peace Prize and, and Nadia's message and the Yazidi suffering, that this will all bring the world together to bring the perpetrator to, to the justice. And that's 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 it's more important. Uh, Yazidi, ISIS you know, murdered, enslaved, terrorized thousands of Yazidis in Iraq. Just a few weeks ago here in Israel, the parliament voted against formally recognizing the genocide. What are your thoughts on that action? What, what words come to mind for you about the Israeli vote? Uh, to be honest, that was, to me, when I first uh, read that and I, I, I knew about it, I put on my Twitter, I was like, this hurts a lot. It's hurt when you expect the people, the people who are gonna recognize your suffering and understand you the most actually just denied or not recognized your suffering and your genocide. And it was, it hurt because in, in the United States and around the world, the Jewish people are the most people who felt our suffering and standed with us. And we always thought the Israeli government and the Israeli parliament will do the same that the, 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 the Jewish people did around the world. But by not recognizing, it was a shock. It was a shock to us. I believe it was also shameful, to be honest, because now this is against everything that should Israel believe in it, Israeli government, and it's absolutely against everything that the Israeli people believe in it. But what I read on the media and heard on some some Israeli TV channels, that it came as a pragmatic move because the Israeli parliament, they feel they don't want to upset Turkey and then if they recognize the Yazidi genocide, then they will have to recognize the Armenian genocide. And to be honest, this is, again, was shameful because they should recognize the Armenian genocide and they yeah. should recognize the Yazidi genocide. And if, if, if the Jewish people were trying to be pragmatic, to be honest, when they were enslaved by, by Jews or, or brought to Iraq as slaves, they would just, would just would deny to be Jews and then they were in their suffering by, yeah. by being pragmatic. Right. But they stick with what they believe in their values against everything. But right. I believe this move was against everything that the Jewish people and, and the Israel believe in. All right, Hazidi Peer with the Yazda organization. Again, a very a shining achievement for Nadia Murad. But the work to Yazidi recognition and to help the victims continues to this day. Thank you so much, Hazidi. Great to have you on the show.